is a general reading this may or may not resonate okay if it doesn't check out your other placements if you need a personal reading all that information is going to be below let's see overall energy will be we do have <coughs> king of pentacles in reverse definitely dealing with someone who's non-committal okay this is someone who's probably struggling financially but someone who's being very greedy with their energies okay this could be you Virgo because this is Taurus Virgo Capricorn so this is definitely you who's holding back from someone you could be very focused on your career business money goals etc okay maybe your attention is not on giving a commitment or your attention is all on yourself right now in the past with the five of wands there was a tiff that you had with someone this is like a tug of four a lot of conflicts interference between you and the person you're dealing with or just you people not on the same page okay something that created a lot of drama and chaos in your life <coughs> right now with the knight of swords here looks like there's a lot of stress anxiety overthinking or analyzing okay but there's a lot of fear attached to whatever you're thinking about sleepless nights panic mode is what i'd say Could be with the nine of pentacles and reverse as a challenge here and what's influencing this is that someone probably who is wanting to be single all this while is now wanting commitment is what i'm getting <coughs> this could be someone who was a player here okay because with the knight of wands in reverse here what you don't see coming is someone who is very in and out of your life but this is how you see them someone who is non-committal like i said right someone who is very insincere unreliable Someone who comes in and out of your life, you know, they treat you like a passion project, you know. So one moment they really want you, but they have no intentions of converting this passion into something stable. <coughs> On your mind is the ace of wands in reverse here. There is a lot of passion that you have for someone, but you're lacking action. You don't want to take action towards this person here. Probably you had a lot of false starts with this person. Okay. And you feel like the situation is going nowhere. That's why you're not taking action. You're holding back. <coughs> I'm getting a situation that's going nowhere. With the two of swords here in the near future, looks like there's a decision that you need to make, okay? Because you're in the land of decisions. Land of indecision is what I'd say in the near future. You're going to have to make a choice, okay? Because there is someone coming in, okay, towards you. You're going to have to make a choice of whether you want to let this person into your life or not. Because you're like in the near future like, I don't know if I really want to do this or not, okay? Should I, should I not? <sighs> Let's see. What's the king of pentacles? Whoa. Just one second, okay? All the cards just fell off. One second. Alright. What's the king of pentacles in the world? Try for the King of Pentacles in reverse, please. Try for the King of Pentacles in reverse. <coughs> mm. You have the Queen of Wands with the Chariot in the Moon here. So there is someone here who's moving full speed towards you, okay? There is someone here with the chariot here. And this person looks at you as the queen of wands here. So yeah, there could be someone here. There's a fire sign who's approaching you, who's very hell-bent on moving towards you. And that will determine, okay? They've chosen their path in career here, okay? Not career, but they, they've chosen their path and direction of coming towards you. They find you very, very attractive is what I'm getting. They have a lot of passion for you. They see you as the badass, okay? They see you as the eye candy and they see you as someone who's got their shit together, okay? This is definitely someone who is not committing to you, but right now they see you as very, very attractive. Well, probably because you don't give a shit to them, okay? And they're coming towards you. Could be someone who's living at a distance from you. They're wanting to travel towards you. But along with the moon here, there is this subtle sense of fear of the unknown, okay? So <coughs> probably this person is someone, you know, who has a lot of emotions for you, but they're relying on their intuition right now, okay? This person probably is someone, you know, who does is not the best at expressing their emotions, their feelings, okay? But someone's a little nervous here while approaching you. They don't know what's going to happen and what your reaction is going to be, but they still are. But definitely someone who's approaching you who's very focused on themselves or the materialistic aspects of life, okay? All right, tell me about the five of wands. What's the five of wands in the past? Okay. 
Ace of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. See, that's what I'm getting, right? This is the same shit, different day, okay? So in the past, so for the Five of Wands, we have the Ace of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands. So this is what the issue is. So basically, you're definitely, you had a new beginning with this person in the past year, all right? And this is someone who you wanted commitment with or someone who you were very, very committed to, okay? You were looking at this person as someone you wanted a lot of stability, security with marriage, okay? But the problem here is that the conflicts were there because you were dealing with the Knight of Wands. You're someone who is very in and out of your life, okay? And that's exactly who's coming in again towards you, okay? This person was had those player-like tendencies, but someone who was very fickle, okay? So this person had a lot of passion for you, but that's not all you wanted, Along with the love here, you also wanted stability, security, okay, something long term. And that's one of the reasons why you guys were just not on the same page in the past year. So you guys could have broken up, okay, because of that reason. I'm seeing a huge age difference also, okay. If not an age difference, there's a huge maturity difference, energetic difference, okay. You're showing up as a queen here, you're showing up and they're showing up as a knight here in the past. See, nine of wands here. You're so guarded. You could have done this with this person. You know, like you've done this with this person over and over and over again. You know. Now you're very guarded. <clears throat> Tell me about the nine of swords here. What is this for? What are these details? Nine of wands. This is your person who's stressing about whether you'll take them back or not. Because look, they're coming in. But along with that, there's that 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 fear. Okay, that stress, anxiety about what's going to happen next. It's like literally they feel the fear, but they're still going to come towards you, okay? Because they have a lot of emotions for you. But when it comes to giving you something stable, something committed, that's when they're wishy-washy. What's the nine of swords? So for the nine of swords, we do have... The Ten of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles in Reverse, and the Magician here. Okay. Definitely there's someone here who's absolutely manifesting you, okay? This is someone who's in full-blown manifestation mode. Although they realize that this is a disappointing situation, okay? So this is somewhere where you put in all the work, all the effort, and you didn't see things coming to fruition, okay? But the thing is that with the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Swords here, this is someone who, this is very self-inflicted pain, okay? Self-inflicted pressure, anxiety. But uh, with the magician here, what I'm getting is this is someone here who wants to manifest a brand new beginning with you, okay? Could be someone, you know, who you gave up on, like I'm saying. Someone who, where you had a lot of patience waiting for this person, okay? More than person waiting for something to come to fruition, okay? Because this could have been a long-term relationship, which was not committed, but it was almost on its way, okay? And you gave up on this person, okay? Because it was making a big burden on you. Rather than it getting better, it was just getting worse, okay? And with the Ten of Wands here, this was, like I said, a burden, uh, overwhelming, okay? Emotionally, it was overwhelming you. You felt you weren't supported by this person here, okay? So, yeah, that's what's happening here. This could also be you manifesting a new beginning with this person. Doesn't have to be only them, okay? Alright, tell me about the nine of pentacles and reverse here. This is definitely someone who wants to be who wanted to be single in the past, like the Knight of Wands here, right? That's someone who doesn't like to be tied down to. And the Queen of Pentacles is someone who likes to settle down, okay? It's a very feminine energy. But this is someone who is very young at heart, you know, they like to live in the moment. And for you, it was all about long-term and stability, okay? Happy home, kids, etc. What's the nine of pentacles in reverse? Yeah. Definitely someone who is... Um, <clears throat> someone's losing their patience, okay? They are. So yeah, I do get that you're stressing so much, right? And with this temperance in reverse, the wheel of fortune in reverse, and the king of cups in reverse here. There's someone here either who is uh, emotionally unavailable, okay? This is someone who was emotionally manipulative in the past year, and now they're losing their patience. This person doesn't know what they want, but they want it now. You know, it's like that impulsive, reckless energy here. They cannot wait for things to go with the flow, okay? This is someone who's just not on your wavelength. And with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse here, the timing could have been off, okay? This person's literally uh, dying to come back to you now. Definitely a very codependent energy is what I see here, okay? 
But yeah, definitely dealing with someone who is shut off, okay, who is not ready to express their emotions for you. <clears throat> Could be someone who is um, uh, who had trust issues, okay. Maybe this person went through a bad relationship in the past, and now they have a hard time opening up. Because I see emotionally this person is with you on the same page as what I'm getting. Because we do have the Ace of Cups here. So there is a lot of love here. But probably it was you who was the one who is investing more into this than this person here. But this person feels is looking at the situation very negatively. They feel things will never happen or never work out with you. Okay. Which is go making them go nuts. Okay. They're going batshit crazy right now. But this is definitely someone who wants to be in a commitment or is ready to be in a commitment. Maybe they realize the grass is not green on the other side. Not like they had their options open or something like that. But this is just someone who probably realizes that it's better to be in a relationship with you. It's much more better, more fulfilling than be single. Than be single, okay? Definitely someone I'm getting also who is very uh, protective of their independence, okay? They want their freedom. They're very protective of their independence and freedom, okay? <clears throat> What's the ace of wands in reverse here? Ace of Wands in reverse is clarified by the Hangman in reverse, the Four of Swords in reverse, and the Two of Pentacles in reverse here. So definitely you are making a decision of not wanting a, a, a brand new beginning with this person. Like I said, right, there is passion here, but you don't want to repeat the same cycle. So you've come to a realization after a while, okay, where you things could have been stagnant and stuck between you both. But now there's some kind of realization, a kind of an epiphany that you've had. You could be juggling a decision of wanting to be with this person like a yes or no. Should I, should I not? Should I, should I not? You've come to a realization, okay that you don't want to be with this person anymore <clears throat> there could be a lot of uh, exhaustion around the situation around this around these thoughts but yes i think you've come to that <coughs> realization that you don't want to be with this person anymore you don't want this brand new beginning okay that's why there's a delay between you both before this passionate new beginning starts because you're not only looking for passion you want more tell me about the knight of wands in reverse here who is this Knight of Wands in Reverse? Who is this Knight of Wands in Reverse? Who is this Knight of Wands in Reverse? Knight of Swords, High Priestess in Reverse, and the Three of Wands in Reverse here. <coughs> There's definitely someone who's rushing in towards you, okay, communicating, okay, because, and this is someone who probably wants to reveal something, some truth has been revealed, okay, but, uh, high pieces in reverse is where someone wants to talk, okay, if this person has kept their mouth shut for a very long time, they're finally ready to talk, and they're determined to talk to you, so be ready for impact, but definitely someone who you give up on, okay, because we have the three of wands in reverse here, so this is definitely someone you were fed up of waiting for. You could have waited, you know, uh, very patiently for your ships to come in, waiting that, you know, like this person will come in. You were literally manifesting this person, probably their return or probably their return in a way, in a, in a good approach towards you, okay, where they make the right approach towards you. But that's the kind of person that's coming in towards you, okay, with the King of Pentacles in reverse and the Knight of Wands in reverse here. I feel with the King of Pentacles in reverse as the overall energy, I feel this is you who's trusting your intuition and choosing to move forward because you're going to go ahead and pursue what you are passionate about. Yeah, that's what I'm getting here. Because your person is still showing up as the Knight of Wands in reverse here. For sure. <clears throat> this is someone who has a lot of passion for you, right? But their energy is, their, their passion is not being directed in the correct outlet. Okay. It's like they one moment they want something, this the next moment they don't, okay? So they're very fickle, like I'm saying, right? Very unpredictable. So you can't trust them. And you're someone so practical, so grounded, you know, so stable. So again, I'm saying the love is there. No denial of that, okay? This is not, yes, the Knight of Wands is a player energy, but that's only because this is someone who's non-committal, okay? Who likes to be free and who loves their independence. But I don't see this as a player. I see this as someone who just doesn't want to be tied down to, Okay. So yeah, they're coming in, okay? This is definitely someone who wants to talk to you, finally. They want to reveal something that has been... Uh, this could be something where they want to reveal the truth, okay? Some kind of truth is coming out. Tell me about the Two of Swords here. Why will Virgo experience the Two of Swords in the near future? The Tower and Reverse wanted to come out.
here. The star. The cards just slip. I just hate it when the cards are so slippery. <coughs> so yeah, and <coughs> yeah, see the diamond rivers wanted to come out. Someone you've had a huge, a, a very, uh, a very bad dramatic ending. Okay, you probably thought that this is never gonna be um, repaired. This is something that was never gonna be fixed, but they refuse to accept this ending. They're coming back to fix something. Okay, but the star here, it's gonna be a wish come true for you. But the problem here is that you're looking at this in a very, very critical way, in a very hypercritical way. You're being very negative towards this person. Is what I'm getting. That's why you're still in your head here. Okay, you're not being able to make a decision, not being able to see the truth for what it is, not being able to see the reality for what it is because you're living in denial okay you're not being able to move on from this person and you're not even being able to forgive okay so it's that in between energy okay where you want to teach this person a lesson i'm getting a lot of vengeance from you okay you're really pissed off with this person because you could have given them per this person chances over chances okay but <clears throat> well, let me tell you that whatever you think, right, I would have preferred if this would have been in an upright, okay, so at least you were direct in communicating and putting your point across, okay, to this person. But you're in the reverse. So you're, you're think, not being able to think from your logic, from your head. You're thinking more emotionally because you're very, very hurt, okay. However, with the star here, this person has probably healed, but this is something where this is divine timing is at play, okay. That's why probably this person did come in sooner. You have to give up on this person because this person had to go through some lessons, okay. But they've learned their lessons with the star here. They They've healed this is a wish coming true for you okay but this person definitely wants to fix things with you okay they want to reverse the damages and they want to make things happen with you another thing with the star is that yes it is a wish come true okay but with the star here is what i always see it as something that is going to make you happy it's a wish come true but it won't come to you exactly the way you wanted it so the way i look at it is that this person is coming back to you so there is a reconciliation all right but the problem here is they're just coming back but if you wanted them to come back towards you in a serious offer or are offering you commitment that's something i still don't see happening because they're st still coming as the knight of wands in reverse and they're, they're still coming in as knights which is that in and out energy, okay? Yes, they do feel the need to speak to you urgently, okay? They feel the need to confront you. They're coming in, okay? But um, they're coming in to talk after maintaining uh, that si that um, silent treatment for so long, okay? Probably kept you waiting for a very long time. But there's definitely something that's going to be revealed, okay? For sure. <coughs> but they're coming in. You're going to be in your head, okay? And the only reason you're gonna head because something ended badly here with the tower, okay? This is you have a lot you have history with this person, okay? This is not a new relationship. So they are coming to make things right this time, okay? They wanna build with you from scratch. It's gonna be up to you, Virgo, if you wanna give this person another chance or not. All right. That's what I have for you, sweethearts. I hope this reading resonates with you. Do leave your comments below, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.